Good afternoon to you, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is May 26, and we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of the Church. Today's Mass is also the Thanksgiving offering of Children of Our Lady of Fatima, Gloria Shasico and Family, Lisa Manalo and family, Sonia Taytay Alcantara on occasion of her birthday today, Michael and Amy Hendricks, 43rd wedding anniversary, Efren and Au Adriano, Salve Navarro, Luming Abraham, Delia Jacobo and family, Divilia De Niro and family, Henry and Carrie Dison and family. We also bring to God the special intention of Tatay Gudoy and Nanay Medi Sandoval, Emmy Alcaide, Ligaya Cordita, Leonora Necesito and family, Rolando de los Santos and family, Christopher Manalo and family, Christine Manalo, Cristal Castillo, Romel Caringal, Joyce Cagimbal, Rafael Navarro and family, Tabo Traquena family, Luming Abraham, Alice Laurel, Henry and Carrie Dison and family, Alma Galleta. We also bring to God the speedy recovery and complete healing of Lot Karaan, Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Annie Laus, Marisa Malabanan, Vivencio Tolentino Sr., Ernesta Valdez, and Leticia Villarama. We remember our beloved, beloved dead. May they all rest in peace. Pedro, Paulina, Antonio, Policarpio Sr., for, for the repose of the soul of Leonardo Adriano, Nanay Flora Laurel, Fermin, Felisa Petra, Sulpicia, Luz Concita, and Crispin. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, as he was hanging on the cross, said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, whom he loved, Behold your mother. The mother of Jesus is the mother of the church. She plays the very important role of taking care of us and interceding for us, her spiritual sons and daughters. May our devotion to the beloved Virgin Mary strengthen our love and obedience to his son, Jesus. May we please all rise.
for the world to live again. Hallelujah, the all new God. Hallelujah, the all new God. Hallelujah, the all new God. Good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Our celebration for today is a post-dated celebration. It should have been last Monday, um, the Monday after Pentecost, as the solemnity or as the memorial of Mother Mary as the mother of the church. But since we are not, we do not have a scheduled mass in the community, and so I opted that we celebrate today in time also for our traditional procession of the image of Mother Mary at the end, the last Wednesday of May being her month. And it will be happening today. Maraming maraming salamat. Una-unahan ka na sa children of Fatima prayer group who will be sponsoring or who will be, yeah, he pre they prepared our image for today for the procession. And also the ablaf ng procession, they will be really in charge. Yeah, Mary as the mother of the church. We put ourselves in God's presence as we welcome him in his word and in his body and blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother. Also grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be ever fruitful day by day and exulting in the holiness of her children may draw to her embrace all the families of all peoples. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Blessed Virgin Mary was with the eleven and other disciples in the upper room and prayed for nine days for the coming of the Holy Spirit. May we learn from their devotion to prayers. Let us now listen to the first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women 
and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their respective dance. My home is within you. May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Together. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of Aesop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate for their legs to be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Mary, the mother of the church, was probably one of the later uh, title of our mother, mother of the church. Although they already arrived to this title during the Second Vatican Council, when the uh, council fathers have decided to incorporate Mary in, a, in that uh, part of the constitution of the church, the Lumen Gentium, saying that Mary's existence or Mary in the plan of God is not just an afterthought, but she is really playing a very, very important role in the history of our salvation. So that was as early as uh, 1964, Second Vatican Council. But it was only three years ago that the specific date was given by Pope Francis on, on February 11, 2018, on the 116th anniversary of Our Lady of Lourdes, yeah, he designated 
the, sun, the Monday after Pentecost Sunday to be the solemnity of, or to the, the memorial of Mary as the mother of the church. In, in the first reading, we have heard um, that event that happened before Pentecost, that Mary and the eleven, and even the names of the eleven were identified once again, they were enumerated, and they were there with Mary and women, other women, um, and they were praying this first novena for the coming of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus. And so, nine days they were there until you know, last Sunday when we celebrate the Pentecost. Sabi nila, it is just but proper that Mary should be there at Pentecost because that is the birthday of the church. And Mary being the mother should be there. And really true enough, Mary was there. It was not just the 11. Bakit 11? Wala na si Judas. Okay? Wala na si Judas. Kaya 11 na lang. That's after the resurrection. And so, Mary was with them. Mary was with them. And uh, very, very beautiful symbolism that, yeah, that's the birth of the church. And Mary was part of that event, no? That she really became the mother of the church. The first time that the Holy Spirit came to her was when? Annunciation. When the Word became flesh in the womb of Mother Mary. And that is for Jesus. In Pentecost, the coming of the Spirit is not only for Jesus, because it was Jesus who breathed the Spirit, but for the disciples, basically for the church. So Mahakita the very beautiful relationship of this coming of the Holy Spirit. Mother Mary is the daughter of God the Father. Okay? Mother Mary is the mother of God, Jesus, the Son of God, the second person. And Mother Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. So that's the three relationships of Mary to the Trinity. Son of the Father, Mother of the Son, but Spouse of the Holy Spirit. No, tandaan nyo yan, kasi they're very beautiful. Ano. And then, another optional prayer uh, reading for today is not this Acts of the Apostles, but the one in, in the book of Genesis, wherein it was mentioned there, because God was so angry with the serpent because they tempted Adam and Eve. And then God said to the serpent, a woman would be crushing your head, no? So, and that's Mother Mary, no? The woman will be crushing his head. Kaya nga, the woman, which is Mary, and the devil are always in conflict with one another. And we know that Mother Mary won over that with the birth of the Savior. Siguro nababasa natin, nakikita natin na the devil really shakes at the presence of Mother Mary. That is, that is in fulfillment of what is re re really written in, in Genesis, that the, that the mother of God will really crush the head of the serpent. So that is in, the, in, the, in Genesis, the very first book of the Bible. Last book of the Bible, ano? The book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. Mary is also referred to as the woman clothed with the sun and wearing the 12 stars in her head. No? So she's also again... Uh, mentioned in there. So parang the beginning of the Bible and the end of the Bible, parang parenthesis eh. Mary is the parenthesis because in between she is also there. Then the very first time that Jesus made his miracle, when was that? Wedding at Cana when he uh, made um, wine from, 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 from water. And that was upon the pushing of Mother Mary, no? the only words of Mother Mary to Jesus, ano, they have no wine. No, they have no wine. That's the intercessory uh, activity, the intercessory uh, function of Mother Mary. To bring the unligen, to bring the, the prayers or the needs of us to Jesus. No? They have no wine. It was a wedding. And during the time, wedding for the Jews, I guess they have 12, uh, no, 14 days celebration before the wedding. And that has so much to do with wine. And if you lack wine, napakalaking iskandalo kung maubusan ka ng wine. And Mary knows that, no? That's why she appealed to Jesus in the name of the groom and the bride, probably, or who are going to be married. They have no wine. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Woman, my time has not yet come. That is the first time in the Bible that Jesus referred to Mary as woman. Again, the very beginning of the ministry of Jesus. The second time that Jesus mentioned the word woman is in today's gospel. Woman, behold your son. When he is at the cross, hanging on the cross at the end of his life. Again, the beginning of his ministry 
and the end of his ministry. Parang open and close parenthesis ang role ni Mother Mary in, in such kind of them. Kaya we cannot really put aside Mother Mary. She is from the very beginning in the mind of God and she will be playing a very important role. Man, sometimes, uh, especially Filipinos, we're so emotional with Mother Mary as a mother. No, as a mother, we are close to her as our mother, uh, parang on the personal level. But friends, even in the theological level, in the philosophical level, Mother Mary is appointed by our God in that particular position to be the mother of Jesus, but eventually also to be the mother of the church. A very, very important, ano. So if you're not an emotional person, what appeal to you in your respect for Mary is what God has planned for her in the theological aspect, like what I mentioned here, the beginning and the end of the scriptures, the beginning and the end of the ministry of Jesus, Mother Mary is always there. And of course, in between. Pero parang poste eh, parang poste yung simula at yung katapusan. And everything in between is really a quiet but powerful role of Mother Mary in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. So yun yung gusto kong i-emphasize ngayon. And of course, in the end, Mary is Mary's the model of, of us as members of the church. Again, remember, in Annunciation, she kept the word of, of God. No? She kept the word of God. She meditated on it. And then she accepted the word of God for her to be the mother of, of Jesus. So she heard the word, and she is really perfected, perfectly united to Jesus. And then immediately after Annunciation, she went out. She went out going to whom? To Elizabeth, no? the visitation, the next mystery. But it has its evangelistic aspect. Of course, he came there to, 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 to serve her elderly cousin, no? who is also pregnant in such an uh, advanced age. And so look at that. It's keeping the word, having an intimate relationship with Jesus, going out for the mission, evangelistic aspect, and service, service. So th these are basically the functions of the church where Mary is the model. She did that, and we can always follow what she did. That's also part of her motherhood for all of us. No? And so we can really always approach Mary as an individual, son or daughter, but also communally as a church. As a son, yung ginawa niya sa kana, no? kasi isang tao lang naman yung tinulungan niya doon, yung groom siguro, nung no? nawalan ng alak, personal approach, no? But also communal in the sense that, yeah, woman, behold your son. John, the beloved, is the representative of the disciples and eventually the representative of the church. So talagang ipinagkatuwala eh, sa isa't isa. Mary was entrusted to us and we were entrusted to Mary. And so dapat ay, uh, ano, gagin saitig. Gagin saitig. She helps us but we should also respect her, we should venerate her, and we should also pray for her. And so, again, very, very important. She is our intercessor to Jesus. Because Jesus is the intercessor to the Father and only Jesus. Wala nang iba, ha? Our, the intercession that Mary is doing us is to Jesus, who will bring our prayers to the Father. Although, of course, we can always pray direct to the Father, we can always pray direct to Jesus without passing through Mary, but it's also possible, and, and it is suggested of the church that we pass through such kind of relationships also. So I hope that with this, we, we deepen... Because with the understanding of the role of Mary, it can even deeper our relationship with her. She is really my personal mother, but also the personal of all of us, communally, as the mother of the church. Amen. Let's stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to God, our Father who accomplished great things in Mary, the mother of the church, and brought her to the glorious throne in heaven. We make known to him our needs through the aid of Mary, as we say. Through the aid of our mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord. That like Mary, the mother of the church, the church may bear witness to the saving love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the aid of our Mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord. That governments may listen to the voice of God 
in the church calling for an end to economic inequalities that now exist between peoples and nations. Let us pray to the Lord. To the end of our mother Mary, listen to our prayers, Lord. That like Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That the poor and the sick may receive from God's people the support and help they need, let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died with Christ may be raised with him to a full new life, let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we bring to God all the mass intentions for today and also our personal needs and concerns. Father of glory and power, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of the Church, grant the petitions we bring before you, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive the offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of the Church and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters of those who by the death of Christ was born to heavenly life. 
As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Full of trust and confidence in the love of our Heavenly Father, we now pray to Jesus in the words, to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins but on the faith of your church 
and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And in your spirit. With joyful hearts, we offer one another Christ's peace. Yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Friends, brothers and sisters, this is Jesus our God and our maids in the humble form of bread and wine. He is the Son of God. He is the Son of Mary. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive Him. Lord, the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ.
our prayer after communion. I thank you, Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, for having been pleased to feed me, a sinner, and your unworthy servant, with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this holy communion may not be for my judgment and condemnation, but for my pardon and salvation. Let this holy communion be to me an armor of faith and a shield of goodwill, a cleansing of all vices and a rooting out of all evil desires. May it increase in me love and patience, humility and obedience, and all virtues. May it be a firm defense against the evil designs of all my visible and invisible enemies, a perfect quieting of all the desires of soul and body. I pray that you bring me, a sinner, to the indescribable feast, where you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, are to your saints, true light, full blessedness, everlasting joy, and perfect happiness, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our verse after communion, please all rise. Together, as he hung upon the cross, Jesus said to the disciple whom he loved, Behold your mother. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church, may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace and outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth with it. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, so thank you for coming in the Mass. First, we would like to thank um, the PGG service team who helped us out, the lectors, the lectors, uh, the lay minister, the media maraming salamat po and uh, the non-liturgical teams of course thank you so much and yeah we're going to have our procession so ngayon pa lang pinapasalamatan ko na baka napasalamatan mamaya katulad na banggit ko the children of our lady of fatima thank you so much for the preparation for this year um the lafla community has brought so much flowers so instead of candle because uh, anyway it's still very bright and it's windy I would suggest that each of you will receive, bring the flowers papunta, and then we will come back to the church for the offering of the flowers. Parang yun na natin, and that will be the end of, of the procession. Our destiny, uh, the, the Richtung is um, until the embassy, and then Zurich, yun lang, the red so sa embassy, and then Zurich tayo dito. Um, the prayer will be the praying of the rosary in between with songs to be, ano, so we ask the love flock also to get to, to have two of the mysteries of the five mysteries alternate with the children of uh, our our lady. So yun lang po siguro. Maraming salamat. Maybe we will. So the blessing of the images before we go.
Blessed be your name, O Lord. You are the fount and source of every blessing, and you look with delight upon the devout practices of the faithful. Draw near, we pray, to these your servants, and as they use the symbols and images of their faith and devotion, grant that they may also strive to be transformed into the likeness of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us signs and symbols of your goodness, for giving us images and, and statues as channels of prayers. Please bless all of these images and candles. May all the people who look at this, may all the people who pray with this, may all the people who own this deepen and f their faith and trust in you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So again, with the procession, um, ano kaya, by threes, we, we, we maintain the distance, please, yeah? We maintain the distance. Dapat we should not be creating trouble in the state. And the image could be in the center of the crowd, no? So parang ganon. So some people will go ahead, some people will be um, after the image. Yeah. We have a loudspeaker and the prayer should be with the speaker. Okay, so before we go, we don't have yet the blessing. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. So maybe we can assemble also outside already.